would you RSVP to Area 51 if if you were close by? Yes, I, I would. You're not scared? I'd have a party after everyone at my house. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for coming to 143 Augusta, a.k.a. Retroheads. <laughs> this is a dope vintage store. Yes. I love it. I am Faduma uh, from the Black Nerds and Own the Walls. We're so lucky to have you here. Your artist name, Original. What's the story behind that? Uh, when I was in elementary school, I had an art partner. Um, his name was Michael Clue. Everybody in school called me Orange, like it was just a thing, and especially in high school. And his uh, name for me was always original because my work was original, and Orange just fit the, the bill for that. When did you notice that you were into anime? You were like, this is my thing. I think it was when my dad used to let me stay up late and watch Dragon Ball Z when I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> he showed me all the uh, Studio Ghibli movies when I was young. We watched Kiki Delivery Service like every week. Same with My Neighbor Totoro. So yeah, anime's been in my blood since I was a kid. So you paint, mm -hmm. um, you also illustrate using marker, and you also illustrate digitally. What are you currently using to create your pieces? I use a lot of acrylic paint just because it's easy to make mistakes and fix them right away. Once I have a idea in my head, I need to get it out right away. So I'm very fast, I'm very impatient. So acrylic has always been my favorite medium. Markers are fun too, but I find they take up a lot of time because when I do marker pieces, I get really into it. With my paintings, it's a little more vague in terms of the detailing, yeah. so it's easier to make. Daria has always been a cartoon that I definitely related to, yeah. even as a kid. Um, just Daria's monotone, just ugh, every day was my life. My diverse Daria series um, stemmed from just the fact that so many people I know um, resonated with Daria and related to her on a level that a lot of us who are now in our 20s can relate to now. And I find a lot of people that resonate with her um, are many different types of people. And Diverse Daria kind of stems from that, where it's showing many different types of people, but all as Daria. Last year, it was just about getting my name out there. Now that it's kind of out there, I feel like, you know, I want to do things like this, like not just art shows, but more, you know, talks and like tattoo pop-ups. So it's not all just about, oh, come look at my art. It's, there's other things that can come from this type of business. I just take it how it comes. And it just kind of flows into, at least once a month I've been doing shows and they kind of just happen. What does Original want out of this process? I never really thought about where I wanted to take it, but I always knew that I just wanted to do it. Like I didn't know what the end game was ever gonna be. I just knew this is what I wanna do right now. And this is what speaks to people. And this is what makes people feel like positive energy, positive vibes. And that's what I want people to feel when they're with me or with my work. And that's really my goal is just to make people feel comfortable looking at a piece of art and not feeling like, wow, I can't relate to this at all. It's the complete opposite when people look at my work because I do work for everybody, or I try to. Originals for everyone. <laughs> Amazing, thank you.